All right, we are playing RimWorld. Let's go. So, RimWorld, as far as I understand, was based off of the series, television series Firefly, and also the movie Serenity. So as a result, we're gonna try to emulate that in our RimWorld playthrough. Whoops. So, the idea for this playthrough is we are going to build a town like you would see in Firefly or Serenity. Um, I'm basing this town on the planet Whitefall. So our seed is going to be Whitefall, which is a slightly drier planet. And in the Firefly Serenity universe, there are no aliens at least that we ever discovered. So we will be removing the mech hive and the insect gene. Insect gene line, excuse me. Just to keep the uh, challenge up a bit though, I am gonna add an extra pirate gang and an extra outlander union, just to keep things interesting. So, I have a bunch of mods I'm using. I'll explain those as we go, cause I don't wanna sit here all day explaining the mods. I am not using the Ideology DLC because I do not own it. And from what I have seen, it seems like a lot of micromanaging and headaches. And although I probably will try it one day, today is not that day. So here is our planet of Whitefall. Um, because Serenity and Firefly, the Rim Worlds are kind of barren and very California-ish, coincidentally. We're gonna be looking for a, an area in an arid shrubland. And I was thinking I would do it at a crossroads, thus the series name Crossroads. So I have already generated this map beforehand to figure out where we wanna go, because I didn't wanna spend all day here trying to find a spot. So in the arid shrubland, there are three crossroad locations here, here, and over here. Um, they're all basically the same. Temperatures are the same. You can grow food year round. So I feel like these two are awfully close to this tribal community. So I think we are going to try this one. Yeah. I was hoping for something with some hills or mountains, but yeah, we'll go with it. Okay, I have also using prepare carefully because I want to have our leader modeled after the Firefly character Patience, who is the pseudo mayor of the planet Whitefall. Unfortunately, we don't own the planet in RimWorld. We only own the community, but we will be using... Patience is our community leader. Um, the only thing I altered here other than that was I upped her shooting and I upped her social and I downed her other skills by the same amount. And I gave her these traits, traits, excuse me, to emulate her character in the film. The other two are just random characters. I haven't changed anything, but I did re-roll a bunch of times in order to get one with good construction and one with also a good construction. What am I doing? Oh no. Okay. I need one with good cooking, not good construction. So let the randomizing begin. Oh, that was one. Shoot. I might fast forward this part to get to the non-randomizing part. Cooking eight, perfect. You can't do shooting or melee, that's not super hot. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, a passion in cooking. Farmer's daughter, why can't you shoot or melee? It's because you're a farmer's daughter? Hunting disabled. Hunting disabled, uh. Ah, it's the reptile researcher. You can be a restorer. I don't know what that means. Uh, what does Tom have? Tom's a good shooter. We'll take your shooting down just to keep it kind of fair. Take your crafting down a bit too. Pretty night owl hard worker. 
Sure. Vicky Gray. All right. The only other thing I have changed in here is the equipment. I have added two cats and a dog because I like having my cats in the game. I think it's funny. And I want to add a dog and you'll see why. So let's go. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. Thank you. We'll see what we got. Again, I got a bunch of mods running. I'll explain those as we go. Okay, here is our town on Whitefall. The music is crazy loud. Let's fix that. All right. Game is paused. Let's take a look at what we got. Looks pretty arid, shrublandy. Oof. This road has an abrupt end at this mountain. Well, whatever. We can fix that up as we go. So here's the main road. Here is the path. Where our town of Crofts, Crossroads is going to be built. I don't know where the path... I must go along this ridge line here. Cool. Looks pretty good. Hmm. The crossroads itself is pr pretty close to the southern edge of the map. And that's a little scary because if people like raiders and stuff spawn down here, they're pretty much already in your town. What do we want to do about that? I think we'll build in this area. Maybe not right at the crossroads to start. Maybe we'll work our way down there after. What else we got? What are you? Mega Sloth. Let's see what we got for animals. Oh, those are my animals. Let's see what we got for Mega Sloth. A couple cougars. That's a little frightening. All right. So, as I said, I'll have this game run for a couple of minutes. Let's see if I can play and talk at the same time here. Yeah. Patience is sick because they have pod sickness. Anyhow, let's get this skill sorted and see if I can talk at the same time here. Um, we want this. So, we're trying to base this on what you would typically see, like, a western town. For those of you who don't know, Firefly and Serenity are basically a sci-fi western. So, the towns on the rim in the TV show and the movie are basically Western towns with future technology in them. So we're going to try to emulate that patient can be four. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this and talk at the same time. So let me deal with this and then we'll get back to it. Patience, you are my main person. You're not a doctor bed rest four. It's been a while since I played this, so it's going to be a, a bit of a slow learning period. You are going to be my warden. You will also be my hunter. Uh, you will not be arting. Sure, you can haul. Who's got better research? Ooh. Well, we'll keep both the research on for three. Yes, you will be my hunter. You are also going to be the warden, and that's pretty much it for now. Other than that, you're just going to be the boss person who walks around and does stuff. So you can haul, you can't clean. We'll go from there. Vicky, I will change yours and Tom's name in a moment. For now, we're going to figure out your skills here. That's fine. You will be priority doctor. Bed rest, basic. You are my cook. So your job will be cooking and Tom's job will be constructing. You're a pretty good constructor too. You can help Tom construct. But you're going to be my temporary farmer. Sure, that's going to be threes. Sure. Basic. Okay, we'll do that for now. We can deal with that as we go. So, as I was saying, it's going to be like a Western-style town. As such, people are going to have individual houses, which I've never done before in RimWorld. We'll see if we can make it work. 
Um, I kind of envision it as being like the cook will have a kitchen at the front of his house, like a storefront, and then he'll live behind the kitchen. So the food will be stored in the kitchen. He'll live behind it. The tailor will have the tailoring bench at the front of their house, like a storefront. Cloth and finished goods will be stored there. And then they'll live behind it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, like I said, I've never done this before, so we'll see how that works. RimWorld is usually everyone kind of eats in the same area, but uh, let's try it out. Okay, first off, let's unforbid all this. It's gonna take me a while to remember the hockey, so like I said, I haven't played for a while, so this is gonna be a little slow. We can do a mass unforbid here, right? Orders. Not claim, allow. Let's do a mass allow, boom, all right. Mm-hmm. Patience. Oops, we're done with that. Patience. Please equip the bolt action rifle. Who is Vicky? You are my mailer. Vicky, you get to equip the knife. Vicky, you get to equip the knife. Tom, you get to equip the revolver. Vicky, after you equip that knife, I'm gonna have you wear the flak vest. And the helmet. And the pants? Oh, I didn't know we got flak pants by default. Okay. Flak pants as well. How come you didn't unforbid? All right. Like I said, I also added a couple cats and a dog. Uh, the cats represent my actual IRL cats. So let's change their names to their IRL cat names, which is under. Training. First cat is Treagle. Second cat is Beagle. Yes. I also added a Corgi in honor of Bubs. And we are going to name him Gimli. Maybe we'll make him a war corgi. That'd be pretty sweet. Sure. He's gonna have to be trained before he becomes a war corgi. I'm not sure if anyone has animal training up right now, but it'll happen when it happens. Why can't I see animals? Oh, handle. Oh, Vicky. If Vicky's bored, she'll train him. Cool, all right. Now, I know we still haven't unpaused, but we're still getting things kind of organized here. So, priorities. The first priority is let's get a building set up where people can sleep and cook and eat and not be exposed and hopefully be kind of happy. Uh, like I said, the plan is to eventually have everyone in their own kind of house. But for now, we're going to do just a standard kind of everyone living together building. Uh, I envision this as eventually becoming like the hotel slash dormitory for people who have moved in the town and do not have anywhere to live yet. But for now, we're all living here. So let's deal with it. Oh boy, I am rusty with this game plan. Okay. So this is going to be a barracks slash living area. What am I doing? This is not how you plan, is it? Yes, it is. So 13. We're going to do... So the front is going to be eventually, originally, the dining area and probably the crafting area until things get sorted. But eventually, it's going to be the hotel kind of like dining area. Uh, there'll be games, entertainment things. And that sort of stuff. And then in the back, we're gonna have our five by five dormitory, or sorry, five by however many it is did. Five by 11 dormitory. So that's gonna be our basic structure to start with. So let's get that queued up. Most things are going to be, oh my gosh, structure wall. 
So most things are going to be built of wood, which is going to be tricky in the arid scrubland because there is not a lot of wood. Um, to start, this will be wood though. I'll throw a couple doors on here. We don't need a door in the back yet. Uh, this structure and some of the bigger structures in town will probably be eventually made out of stone, but right now we're starting with wood. So let's get that going. We'll go on speed one and people will start moving around to see what's going on. Everyone's picking up their gear. They're going to start hauling things. Patience is going to move a stone. Tom's going to start building. I have a feeling Vicky is... No, Vicky's still getting her gear. So, other things we can do is start getting some of this stuff organized and in, in stockpiles. So let's do that while we're waiting for these guys. Stockpile. We'll throw a bunch of our goods in here for now. Let's manage the stockpile zone settings. Oops, storage. We do not want... Okay, close it, first of all. No corpses, no plants, no chunks. Sure, sure, sure. More resources. Uh, we do not need stone. We do not... Well, yeah, that can go in there for now. Captured foods. Sure, everything else can go in there for now. So when these guys aren't busy doing that, they will be hauling equipment. Vicky, why did you not... Oh, those are your old pants. I see. All right, very good. Good job, Vicky. So these guys are going to haul and instruct. Take a look around while we're waiting. So a couple of things we are not going to do. We are not going to take advantage of some of the game mechanics like dead power. I know that's a popular way to conserve energy, but we're going to try to keep this kind of more realistic. So things like turrets are going to be hooked up to electricity full time. Uh, maybe if I get real adventurous, I can think about hooking up to a switch or something. Oh, there's one of the cougars. I'll keep an eye on those guys. Uh, yeah, we hook up to a switch, turn on and off, but we're not going to be having dead power. We're also not going to be walling off our town like a fortress. We're building a western town, not a medieval castle. So that's going to add a level of difficulty as well. Uh, we're not going to be building a kill box. I know it's a popular way to kind of funnel people into an area and murder them. Again, it doesn't really fit in with the Western theme, so we're going to try to avoid that. Um, what else? These guys are still building. Oh, a couple of the mods that we're going to discuss right now, actually, before these guys finish building here. The first mod is I have Windows. I'll put a mod list in all, or in the video description probably, but... I have installed windows because buildings usually have windows. Uh, I apparently don't have usable materials from which to build this. 25 wood. I don't have 25 wood? No, oh, time to start chopping trees. So yeah, I have the window mod installed. I haven't used it before. We'll see how that looks. I also, in order to have the everyone has their own house kind of idea, I have a fridge mod installed because Usually for, uh, for, usually food, excuse me, is stored in like a centralized area. But if everyone's living in a house with their own kind of designated table and chair and stuff, I don't need them walking across town to get food and then back to their house. So I have a fridge mod installed, which is under, where are the fridges? Temperature? Ah, here we go. So yeah, we have fridges. They run off electricity, but they can be kept in people's house so people can have their own food storage in their house without worry about their food going bad. So we are chopping trees to get this construction finished. And while we're doing that, let's queue up a cooking area. Hmm, what do I want to do next here? Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm a little behind on priorities here. Let's pause while I figure this out. Do we want to do a cooking? 
No, because we need power to cook. Hmm. Hmm. We still got lots of survival meals. Can we prioritize hauling these, please, before they get eaten? Patience? Yeah. Prioritize hauling these. And then come back to this component as well. Stuff will decay if it's left outside, and I do not need components rotting away while we're doing other things. Also, animals will eat our meals, our packaged survival meals. I don't want that happening either. So we're going to prioritize getting those hauled in. I thought I saw a couple other random ones laying around. Ah, there we go. And then do those. Okay. With some camels. We'll queue up some hunting and stuff eventually. Right now we have some packaged survival package survival meals to survive on so we'll deal with those we're also going to cut some agave we're gonna harvest some of these plants get some food oh god look at all the agave down here yeah that should keep, keep people fed for the time being until we get things a little more organized all right this is coming along nicely What is this? A steel table, eh? It's probably not very nice. No. For now, I think we will uninstall this steel table. Well, it's probably better if I just break it down. What time is it? Oh, wait. I want this to be... There's a way to make this a better menu. I'll figure that out after. Okay, sorry, I can keep getting distracted here. It is five o'clock, oh no, it's noon. Okay, I'm not worried about sleeping spots yet then, if that's the case. But, oh, the other mod I do have installed is the replace mod. So if I want to say, put my windows in, which I completely forgot about, I can just put them over top rather than worry about, oh, they can be rotated. Rather than worry about having to deconstruct the wall and then build a window. Now, I would like a window in here, please. Do I have to have my wood in a stockpile? Seriously? That's annoying. Oh, I guess I'll put it in. Okay, perfect. So let's get a couple windows in the front here. Beautiful. Oh, Vicky, you're meditating. Do you have Psychic? I'm using the royalty mod. I'm probably not going to have anyone ascend the royalty ranks. I mean, Patience is our mayor slash leader of the colony. She'll probably stay that way, but we're not going to be beholden to the Empire. Uh, Vicky, where is your psychic abilities? And do you have psychic abilities? I don't think so. You're just meditating to make yourself feel better? You must be. Yeah, I think if they have psychic abilities, they show up here. Um, oh, the other thing I do want to do is I want to rename you. I figured I would go through and name people after my friends. So let's do that. This keeps it a little more interesting, a little funnier, and you can put a face to the name of the person who's getting mauled by rabbits. Vicky, you will be bubs, because your dog is here, you may as well be here too. And Tom, you can be my buddy. Mr. Dread. Yeah. Wait, hold on. No. There's a Y in here. Yeah. Alright, that's better. So the last thing I want to do for the day is get some beds built. Bubs is eating my pack of survival meals. I'd rather save them if we can, just for emergencies, but for now, I thought I'll have to be okay. Also, no medicine for you guys. Medicine is for emergency purposes only. 
Animals, you also do not get medicine. How do I f deal with that? Yeah, no medicine for you either. Treagle, no medicine for you. Beagle, no medicine for you. Gimli, no medicine for you. Oh, am I just doing no medical care? Oh, no. Okay. You get medical care. You do not get medicine. We will deal with medicine as situations arise. But I don't want to accidentally have situation arise and then they get Glitter World Med for, like, a cat bite or something. Oh, I can sweep from here. That's very handy. Uh, Dr. Care, but no medical. Okay. You guys. Oh. Dr. Care, but no medical. Dr. Care, but no medical. And Dr. Care, but no medical. Wow, you guys already have scars, eh? Man. You are 49, Bubs is 45. Lavish meals, yeah, that's fine. Oh, you are slow. What are you, Bubs? Are you my, you're my constructor. Yeah, you can be slow, that's fine. Oh yeah, so this is roofed. It looks unroofed because there's light, but the light is coming from the windows. How fancy is that? Okay, I want to build some beds before uh, bedtime. That is in furniture. We are going to build a... Wow, a steel bed? That sounds super comfortable. No, we're going to build wood beds. I don't know why they're so close. That'll be fine for now. Bubs, you're my constructor. Prioritize that. Prioritize that. Prioritize that. We may not actually have enough beds. Patience, what are you doing? Going for a walk. Why don't you hunt? Ooh, do we want to get hunting emus? I believe emus will retaliate if they are upset. You know what, Patience? Enjoy your walk. We're going to be a little more situated before we start hunting animals that will fight back. Oh, but you know, feel free to walk right towards it. I'm sure that's safe. Gosh. I'm just gonna pause the game here and check my timer because I completely forgot how long we were going for. All right. I think we're gonna go for a few more minutes and then call it a day for this episode. Bubs, where are you going? No, build the bed, man. Did you seriously bring the wood to all the bed? Bubs, what What are you doing to me, Bubs? No, no, no. You divided the wood up between the two beds. Oh, Bubs. Why? Okay, fine. Now you dread. You built the bed. You can finish it. Oh, you don't have wood either. All right, awesome. Good job, team. Bubs, now where are you going? Are oh, you harvesting? Okay. Oh, the schedule. Shoot, I want to do that too. Let's keep these guys walking. So they can go to bed at ten o'clock is a good bedtime. But then I'd like to remove everything else in case they want to wake up. Yeah, so doing this, they will go to bed at 10 o'clock, but this allows them to wake up whenever. They're not forced to stay in bed until 5 o'clock, wherever the default is. So we'll leave it at that. I could do a force recreation too when they wake up. Or right before bed. Force recreation. You must recreate. Patients are sleeping on the floor because there were some bed struggles. Sorry, patients. Not very merrily of you, but that's how it'd be. All right, let's let these chumps go to bed and then we will call it a day. So yeah, episode one, a little rusty. Things will go faster as we get going, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Episode two will be along shortly.